Hi, my name is Iman Preet Kaur and I'm a part of Red Hat. I'm going to talk about REST API as how we can interact with cloud forms via REST API. Red Hat Cloud Forms is a cloud management platform to manage virtual, private, and hybrid cloud infrastructures. It provides a single interface to manage OpenStack, Amazon EC2, Microsoft Azure, Google Compute Engine, Red Hat Enterprise Virtualization, and VMware vCenter. Simply, it is a manager of managers. Cloud Forms itself can be managed via web interface, but also via API. So I will give you a brief demo on how Cloud Forms can be managed via API. Let's look at a REST client named Insomnia. Here we need to create the HTTP request first. After the request is created, set the URL. We have multiple methods to execute the request as get, post, put, delete, patch, options, head. For example, if we want to get the list of all the VMs present in the Cloud Forms, we can fire a query as shown and click the send button beside it to execute the request. Once the request completes, the details will be visible in the response pane on the right hand side of the application. Similarly, let's check the user information. As you can see, there is only one user is present. You can also check the details of the user by using his ID. And here we have the details of the user named administrator. Now consider a scenario. If someone needs to get the region number or a MAC address of any VM, how we can get this via API? Let's see. First, list the VMs. Get the ID of particular VM by query this as shown. In the response pane, you can see there is no field present which is related to MAC address or a region number. So in order to get the list of virtual attributes or metadata as region number and MAC address, etc., we need to send the API request with option field instead of get as shown. You will get the list of virtual attributes and you can search any one of them like MAC address or a region number, etc. After collecting the attribute name, make a query on the basis of filter as first we need to specify the cloud form URL, host name, or you can say that IP, then API, VMs, particular VM ID. Then we need to filter the query. How? As shown, first we need to specify the attribute the field name, then you can get the region number in the response. Moreover, you can also achieve the information about automated methods, instances, or any kind of information related to automate. For example, fire a query like, first specify the URL, API, automate. It will give your list of domains as Iman, Red Hat, ManageNQ. In order to get the detailed information about the domain Iman, fire a query like first URL, then API, then automate, the name of the domain that is Iman, then specify a special parameter that is depth is equals to three and the attribute class and fully qualified name. So in the response, we have domain, namespace, class, instance, method. With the help of depth parameter, we can get the arbitrary depth. As if two, we get the information till level two, that is class. Now I will explain the REST API with the help of curl command. Curl is basically a tool to transfer data from or to a server using supported protocols. Let's take an example of ordering a service catalog using curl command. So first, what we need to do, we need to prepare a curl command, curl with options, k, or by specifying credentials, we'll use u. Here we are using default credentials. And after that, we need to specify 
the method that is post as we need to order our service then we need to specify the application type then action that is order as here we uh, we need to order a service then a number of resources that are required to order a service as we need to specify the URL so the entire resources URL API service template ID the name of the VM here I'm taking Iman as a name of the VM and after that the main URL In the main URL, we are going to specify the service catalog ID. So here we need to get two things that is template ID and service catalog ID. So for that, we'll log into the CloudForms operation portal. We'll specify the credentials. We'll navigate to the services, catalogs, catalogs, and here we have only one catalog that name is VM Pro, and and here is the the entire catalog that we want to order. So we'll get you know a uh, service template ID so here you can see we'll have one ID because there was only one template that is present so we'll specify here and after we'll get service catalog ID by firing this URL And you will get a response code 200 that means success let's check the status at the CloudForms end about the ordered request again log into the CloudForms operation portal then navigate to the services then request you know you can see the request is here and you can check the last message showing automate starting So that's all about the REST APIs. Thank you.